Ready? So first of all, <laughs> congrats on finally becoming Lightning after okay. all this waiting. Thank you. So what struggles is she facing in the beginning of the season? Oh God. Well, she is getting more powerful. She's getting stronger, and she's also getting more emotional. It's a terrible combination. Um, so it's a lot harder for her to contain her powers and to control her actions. You know what I'm saying? That's what she is at the beginning of the season. We just started feeling like a week ago, so we don't really know our full character arcs or too much at all. We don't know too much more than y'all. Is she going to kind of be a danger to not just herself potentially, but to the others around her who's controlling that power? Yes. Yes. We're already starting to see some of that in like the first couple episodes of her just doing too much. You know what I'm saying? Her emotions getting the best of her and her making bad decisions. So, yeah. We predicted it. Yep. <laughs> I love your interactions with Gambit, especially trying to figure out the suit and all and whatnot. <laughs> what can we expect more of that uh, dynamic or relationship? Uh, uh, with me and Gambit? Oh. Yeah, Gambit. You know, I didn't really get a lot of scenes with him first season. Yeah. So I'm happy that now that Jennifer's in her suit, she's in the layer more, so she's down there and she gets to do more with Gambit. And I think that their relationship is going to evolve a lot, you know what I'm saying? We always call him Uncle Gamby, but you're really going to get to see the personal aspect of their relationship in this next season. It's going to develop next season. Yeah. <laughs> production everything it was like so fast paced because we were trying to get everything done but it was also really fun to step outside of the box and get a little bit fantastical with the storyline and I don't know what this season holds in general when it comes to our storyline I know the Markovians are probably going to give us a lot of issues but yeah maybe it'll be a little bit more grounded this season <laughs> yeah what are some things that you want to see for your character coming up in this season? I mean, if you don't know that much, what is some, what's an ideal that you want to see? I really want to see her just go ahead and step into her power fully. You know what I'm saying? Because she's been super apprehensive this entire time. She's been like, I don't want this. Somebody take this away from me. She's crying and sad about it. But I just want to see her get rid of all of that and just take on her responsibility. That's what I want to see. Writers. I don't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> do you think that 21st, bro? 21st, bro? 21st, bro? What you doing? <laughs> With everything that your character is and is going to be grow uh, going through, do you think that in a way like reflects the things her father went through and like is that gonna like bond like your family on that? Mm. Wow. I think so. I think so. It's it's gonna bring them closer. Um, it's gonna bring Anissa and Jennifer closer. Because Jennifer, I feel like, has always been comfortable talking to Anissa about everything. But now at this point, since they both have powers, she's really going to rely on her and Chris a lot. And I think that it is, it's going to bring them closer as a family, for sure. Talk a little bit about the arc of the Jennifer Khalil relationship. In this last season, it was so central, um, and just sort of talking about the impact as you see it on uh, on on Jay herself. Oh man, well, I mean, it impacted her in a lot of ways. It was, you know, her first love. It was, I think, the only person outside of really her her group and her family that she told she had superpowers. Um, I think that it played a really big part in her character arc because at the end of the day, it became the reason why she decided, you know what, it's time for Tobias to go. So if I need a suit, put me in a suit, I'm, I'm ready. You know, so I'm really happy that that storyline led to that and led to her finally trying to step into her power. <laughs> Something that I'm hoping we will see, because we don't see it very often on TV, is young superheroes having to deal with Double identities, you know, living, you know, being, the, you know, themselves in school and whatnot. Oh, right, school. Yeah. All <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, yeah, school. <laughs> so, how how much are we going to see that? I mean, how is she going to balance that life of having to? Because I'm assuming she still want to keep her identity safe. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. Actually, now more than ever because of these Markovians, these darn Markovians. But in school, we're going to see her acting up a little bit. We're going to see her acting up in general, but. 
school is probably going to be more difficult because like I said earlier, it's going to be harder for her to control her emotions, which makes it harder for her to control her powers. You know what I'm saying? So I'm excited to play that. I'm excited to play that arc this season, is keeping the two characters really separate. Yeah. With the invasion and Markovians and all that, is there a worry with the fellow cast members, you know, if you guys can survive this? Like, it's like, oh my god, are we going to get killed? Oh, oh god. You know what? Probably so. Because a lot of people on this show, they die, but then they kind of come back. Like, you know what I'm saying? So, I don't, I know that we're kind of worried about it, but not really though, because the characters that die always come back. So, I don't know. I really have to talk to the cast to see how they feel about that. Low key. Like, I'm worried Jennifer's gonna just implode on herself at this point. You know what I'm saying? To destroy herself. I hope she don't do that. <laughs> Hair. I love your hair. Oh, you did. Sorry, this is turned to Thanks. Are we good? <laughs>